built to replace the legendary World War II Jeep. This four-wheeled behemoth would play a vital role when traversing the sands of the Middle East during the Persian Gulf War. For three decades, it would remain a symbol of American brawn, playing a major role in every conflict since it rolled off the assembly line, towing soldiers, missiles, machine guns, satellite communication dishes, or whatever else was needed. A true do-anything vehicle for a constantly evolving battlefield. Meet the Humvee. The Jeep first hit the battlefield in 1940. It was meant to be a simple reconnaissance vehicle. But during World War II and for decades afterward, the Jeep became so much more, toting machine guns, chasing tanks with bazookas, and ferrying fighters into battle as quickly as it rescued injured warriors from the front lines. But by the late 70s, the Jeep could no longer stand up to weapon systems that had grown bigger, heavier, and more sophisticated. As the Jeep approached retirement, the Pentagon needed another vehicle that could handle anything a modern battlefield could throw at it, and could also dish it out in equal measure. Instead of redesigning the Jeep, the Army put out a call for an entirely new vehicle, a jumble of consonants called the HMMWV, or Humvee, which stands for High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle. In March 1983, the Army declared AM General's Humvee prototype the winner. And the Pentagon was so excited about this new jack-of-all-trades machine that it put in an initial order of 55,000 vehicles. The U.S. military finally had a new warhorse. AM General's Humvee could clear a 16-inch obstacle under its lowest point, tackle a 5-foot deep body of water, and traverse side slopes that would make traditional 4x4s topple over. And it could do all this while carrying a 2,500-pound payload. While the Humvee would first see combat during Operation Just Cause in Panama in 1989, its show-stopping debut occurred during the Persian Gulf War a few years later, towing soldiers and heavy weapon systems into battle while keeping casualties low. As war evolved, the Humvee evolved with it as the U.S. created dozens of variants, including an ambulance transport, a tow missile carrier, an M119 howitzer prime mover, an air-to-surface missile pedestal, a Mark 19 grenade launcher vehicle, and a mobile platform for a variety of machine guns. As a testament to its popularity, the Humvee would be recruited in more than 60 militaries around the world and would even get a civilian variant simply called the Hummer. But by the mid-2000s, the Humvee was in a battlefield that had evolved beyond its original mission. While up-armored variants held increased survivability against IEDs, these upgrades made the vehicle extremely cumbersome, and the added weight put serious strain on the Humvee's suspension. These vehicles were so heavy that a U.S. soldier once said that opening its door was like doing a one-arm sideways bench press. Even with this added armor, the U.S. military still needed the new mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle, or MRAP, which was purpose-built to survive IEDs. But the MRAP proved to be only a band-aid on a much bigger problem. The Humvee needed to go. In 2013, the Pentagon began its search for a replacement. Called the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or JLTV, Oshkosh Defense's prototype, built for driving among IEDs, rocket-propelled grenades, and small arms fire, was stronger than a Humvee and quicker than an MRAP. It was the best of both worlds. While the JLTV would become a war zone replacement, the Humvee still remains on active duty, with AM General saying its Hummer could find a place in the military until at least 2050, especially as an ambulance transport. The Humvee is also finding a second life as an unmanned ground vehicle. In 2018, the Army showed off its progress of creating a robotic Humvee that could engage targets without putting any human cargo in danger. Nearly 40 years on, the Humvee will likely remain a valuable four-wheeled soldier for decades to come.